Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video I'll be showing you how to style gravity forms to make it look like our own DV contact form. So throughout this process we'll be using some CSS code and also as a bonus we also have a few more styles that I'll show you how to do. So these are the final designs that we'll be doing in this tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time let's get started and let me show you how to achieve this. The styles that we're going to be going through in today's tutorial can be achieved mainly using CSS. But there's also one style that we'll be doing which will involve a background image and I've used the dimensions of 1280 by 853. Okay, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in. Let me show you how to achieve these styles using gravity forms. Okay, so I'm already logged into my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do is to create the form. So I'm going to come over here to forms. Now I'm assuming that you've already installed your gravity forms plugin. If you haven't, you would need to download that. And also if you need to learn more about gravity forms, there will also be links provided in the show notes below. So you can go and learn a bit more about this, but mainly this tutorial is just about the design. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to forms. So this is where we get to uh, create a new form. So I'm just going to press on add new. So we can call this form anything. So I'll just call it gravity and then click on create form. Right. So this is the first page that we see when we create a new form. So over, over here to the right, this is where you need to add all your fields. So the fields that we're going to need are the name, email and message. So I'm going to come over here to advanced fields, fields and then click on name, email. And then I want to go back to standard fields. And for the paragraph text uh, or the message uh, area, we're going to use the uh, paragraph text. So now over here now we need to go into each one of these and make a, a few more adjustments. So let's start off with uh, the one right here, which is named untitled. So we just cl click on here and then we want to rename that to message. Now, you see with the gravity forms, it also has a description inside here. So in order for us to, uh, to get the description, all we have to do is to come over here to placeholder and enter um, our text. So you can enter whatever you want, but for now, we're just going to keep it nice and simple. We're just going to call it message. So you can see now it appears there as message. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. Now this one is the email. So in the email, again, we're going to come over here to appearance and then in the placeholder, we're just going to type in email like that. So you can go and also uh, add a bit more description, like uh, enter your email here, because that can also help the, the user know what to do when they get to the form. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. Now over here on the name, we're going to do a bit of a change because on the on the, our normal DV contact form, we don't have the last name. So we're going to disable this so we can only have the first name. And then we're going to come over here to appearance and in the placeholder, where it says first, we're just going to enter name. Okay, so now that we're done with that, the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that our form fields, the name and the email are set side by side, because at the moment, they're one on top of each other. And let me show you what that looks like. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on update. And then I'm going to do a quick preview right here. Okay, so you can see we have the name and then the email below and then the message. So what we need to do is to have the name and then the email needs to be side by side with the name here. And then the message just comes on the bottom. So there is some custom CSS code uh, that comes with gravity forms. So that's what we're going to use. So back over here to our, to our form, I'm going to click here on the name and then I'm going to go into appearance and go to custom CSS. Now this is where we need to paste this code. It's GF underscore left underscore half. Now, once we're done with that, that's fine. Let's collapse that. And now we can go to the email one, do the same thing. We're going to go into appearance and then under the custom CSS, we're just going to enter that. This is where we just need to change the left to right like that. So that's all we need to do. So now that we're happy with everything, all I have to do now is to come over here and click update to make sure that the form is saved. Okay. Now that our form is saved, what we're going to do is to just create a brand new page. So I've called my gravity forms, but you can call your page, whatever you want. So I'm going to come over here and click on use the div builder. And then I want to come and insert a single column. 
and also a text module. So I'm going to come over here, click on the text module. Now it's time to add our form. So we can just click this gray button here and then click on the drop down. And we can see that our form is right here. It's named gravity. So I'm going to click once on it. Now for now, we will need the title of the form and also the description. So I'm going to click on insert form. So what happens now is this now inserts this short code and this is what's going to, what this is what's going to uh, uh, display our form so i'm going to go ahead now and click on save and exit click update okay so now that we we've saved everything we're going to go ahead now and do a quick preview and take a look at our form so i'm going to come over here to the permalink and i've just clicked that to open our new form and now we can see that it's all side by side but this is very far from how our default dv form looks like so in order for us to achieve that we're going to add we're going to need to add some css code so what i'm going to do here is to click enable visual builder so now all the way up down here we're going to come here to expand settings i'm going to click once on that and then come over here to the gear icon going to the CSS tab and this is where we're going to add our CSS code which is going to make this form look like our own DV contact form. So you'll notice that way as soon as I paste my CSS code our form automatically changes. So this is the this is the um, the CSS code that does all the styling in order for us to achieve this look. So once you're done with that go ahead and save. Click save one more time. And that's how you turn a normal gravity form into a form that looks like our own DV form. Okay, so in our next style, we are going to utilize the material design. And as you know, this is a trend that's been going on for a while and it is here to stay. So again, to achieve this material design, we're also going to use some CSS code. But luckily, because we already have our form, all I need to do is to just copy the code and then just paste it and then you'll just get your design. So back over here on our form, all you need to do is to come over here to uh, this settings icon, the page settings, go back into the uh, CSS. Now we need to delete this code here because we're going to enter our new code, which has the material design. Right, so we can see now this is the code that gives us this design. It's beautiful. Now what you need to do in order for you to change this to make it match your own website or your own branding colors is to come over here into, into the colors and then just customize these and make them match your branding. So in this design, we're going to start by adding a background image. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on upload click on upload files. Now my file is in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to navigate to that. And this is the image that I'm looking for. I'm going to double click on it. And once it's uploaded, I'm going to come over here to my bottom right and click upload an image. So now we can see that uh, our section now has a background. So I'm going to go ahead now and save the changes. Now what we need to do is to go back to our form and um, add some sections. Uh, this option is optional. So I'm just going to do this because it adds a bit of styling to my form. So I'm going to come over here to gravity because this is the form that we are using. So I'm going to click on edit. So I'm going to come over here to uh, uh, this standard field and click on section. Now we can see we have a section break. I'm just going to drag this all the way to the top and I'm going to click once on it and give it a name. So I'm just going to call it my details. Now, if you have a large form, you can actually add different sections on your form. And this will actually uh, make you achieve a greater design with this tip that I'm showing you in this example. So now that I've added that section, I'm going to go ahead and click on update. So now I'm going to come over here to gravity forms. I'm going to refresh this and see if that change that we did has been applied. Okay, so we can see that my details is now there as a section. Now, because I haven't restored uh, my action, what has happened now is my background image is gone, but it's okay. We can always come back here into the settings and uh, re-upload it. So I'm going to click on it since it's already in our media library. Click upload image. I'm going to save this and then 
I'm going to come over here to my expand settings, click this gear icon. Now we're going to add our CSS, which will give us that look. So I'm going to highlight this and delete it. Okay, so now that we've entered our CSS code, we can see here we have a beautiful design. I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And on the bottom right here, I'm going to go ahead and save it one more time. So as I mentioned before, if you add more sections, you actually have this style on each section. So this is how you create this opaque looking design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.